Okay guys, it is March 1st, 2020, and I just wanted to pop in and get this party started. So today is my day one of my personal four week shred. Um, I'm trying to see, I don't really have like a numbers goal, um, but I am hoping that I see some physique wise definition in my arms, upper body, and especially some growth in my lower body. Um, I think after collecting all of the data from this shred, I will do another shred because I'd like, my goal is to get summertime fine and get as lean as possible. So this is my first attempt at that and what that looks like for me. So basically all I'm committing to is eating 1850, like 1850 calories a day. And my focus is on getting, well, hitting the 30, 35, 35 when it comes to my macros. And then um, eating like three, two to three meals a day. Um, if I eat two meals, I'll have a snack. If I eat three meals, I have no snack and then working out um, six days a week. And upper body two days, lower body, well, upper body focus two days, lower body focus two days, cardio one day, and then yoga on the next day, and then, and then, and then there's a rest day. So I think it's pretty good for me to, to do that because I've been implementing those things along the way and I'm sustaining my progress, and now I just wanna build on top of that if it makes sense. And all this has been going on in the past four months, so I'm pretty proud of myself. Six months ago, I was 30 pounds heavier, um, and health was going in the wrong direction and not feeling good and confident in my body, and didn't really have any goals I could like aspire towards or wanted to sacrifice to, to get to. Um, but yeah, I will keep you guys updated. Um, I think I will do some what I eat in a day so you know what my meals look like and what I eat in a week so you can have a good idea of how I'm um, preparing and also executing my meals. Um, and if, if you haven't, follow me on Instagram because I do my daily sweat checks there and my OOTDs when state night, when I'm going out, when me and my kids are out. So I'm very much active on Instagram, although I'm here every day. Well, on my YouTube channel, pretty much every day, I'm a little bit more active on Instagram as well. So follow me over there if you haven't. I will see you there. Um, but yeah, if... Tell me exactly, or I guess just let me know what else you would like to see. But um, moving forward, I will continue to give you tummy updates. Let's actually do um, a little mini tummy tuck update. I think today is a hundred and hmm, a hundred and twenty-four post-op. But here is my tummy. As you can see, I'm working on my physique. There's a little bits of definition coming through. Um, but yeah, this is what I'm looking like. And this is what the tummy is looking like. See, still pretty flat. I'm working on these this back bulge right here that's the most annoying part for me as you can see my burns they're all healed up and they're they're fading pretty well um, I have not been consistent on using my oils but I have been consistent with moisturizing and exfoliation um, but I do notice that when I use the oil the progress is quicker and I need to be a little bit more consistent with that. But here we go. This is my tum tum. I haven't measured anything and I think I should. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do my measurements tomorrow morning because I wasn't able to this morning. Uh, time just got away from me. So 
I want to have accurate um, scale numbers and uh, measurements for all of the major groups that I'm working on because I want toned arms, I want a toned back, I want my chest to be as sexy-licious as possible, you know what I'm saying? Nice defined shoulders, you know what I'm saying? And then my legs, I want to measure the growth because I'd like to grow my legs and my, um, just shape my rump as best as I can. Um, but yeah, toning, I'm not really trying to gain muscle because I have a lot of muscle. I need, I'm shredding the fat off my body and toning what I already have. And I just want to see what that looks like. And then I will go from there. So baby steps, baby steps and consistency. And that is my what my journey would look like as what it will look like. You'll have to follow. Follow me and just keep talking to me. I love this correspondence we have going. I love this ebb and flow we have that's going on, on in this community. And as I share with you how I am changing my entire life, I would love it if you all guys share with me too. I want to be an inspiration to you. I want to let you know that this single mom from another country that had to build herself up, it is possible, but you do have to have faith and believe that you can for yourself because you never know who's watching and you never know who you're inspiring. And that is my goal is just to inspire you to change your life and create the life that you love that can support the you, the best you that you want to be. And that's what I'm doing and sharing with you. But it's it's possible you could do quite a few things. Right now I'm creating a skincare line that was prompted by my tummy tuck scars and also adult acne that I've never experienced before. And as you can see, um, I haven't washed my face for the day yet. All I did was put water on my face to wake up so I could get a workout in, but I'm glowing. My skin is even. There's no acne. Um, the scars have faded. I had so much hyperpigmentation. And um, yeah, my skin is so smooth, like like wood pores. Where? Where? Wrinkles? Where? Where? And <laughs> um, if you can guess how old I am, I will I would have a special gift for the person who can who can guess my age <laughs> on the dot like exact age. Anyway, um I was just popping in to say hey uh and I hope you guys are enjoying the content and just letting you know that there's going to be a little bit of pivoting when it comes to the content cuz I will be implementing into implementing more um self-care, some workouts and healthy lifestyle and tummy tuck updates for sure. Also skincare um and showing up as your best self even if no one's watching. So, I know you guys are watching and I hope that you're implementing tiny things every day. You know those atomic habits, they do add up. And I look forward to what we have and what we are building. And I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you next time.